This one looks great. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sally Shear from Ginger Ale and Monowells. We're here at Smiling Buddha, as you can see. Smiling Buddha. Hello, hello. Hey, Sally, what's happening? How's it going, man? Great. How are you doing? Stoked to be out here on a beautiful day. The sky looks wonderful. It's 420. 420. 420. I hope you guys are having a great day. Should be. So, uh, what do you want to talk about? So, let's talk about a few things. we got Ginger Ale and the Monowells playing here at the Smiling Buddha on Saturday, April 25th release show for Blue Balls and it's going to be quite the bash. What's the single? It's called Blue Balls and what it is is a, this show is essentially a celebration to abolish Blue Balls forever. We need to come together and that's the only way we're going to make it happen. Awesome. So tell me about the band. So Ginger on the Mono Wheel started about three and a half years ago. Uh, we all went to school together. Well originally the drummer and I were good friends and uh Eventually we all met up at school. <laughs> Eventually we all met up at school and formed a band because we all liked kind of the same shit but also different shit enough that we wanted to make music together and it's been beautiful ever since. That's for awesome. sure. So did you board here? Yes, that is the way to get around here in Toronto. Too cool, man. The way to get around, probably the most efficient way here in Toronto if you live anywhere downtown. It's okay for a singer because you just have a microphone to carry. Yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much this summer, that's the only way to get around uh, to shows and gigs. And the best thing about it is there's like four shows in one night or something. You can just leave, go to the next one, go to the next one, you know, down the street. So. Any other great shows coming up? Yeah, we've got uh, our, for us, we've got uh, CMW coming up on May 2nd. And we're playing with Fiddler, which we are very stoked about. Uh, past that, our biggest release is going to be in August. So that's our next EP. I've got our uh, EP we released last August here. Ha! Pronounced ha! And uh, it comes in a can. It's a fan can. We made it ourselves. We sanded them. Blood, sweat, and tears. How's that work? So this guy opens up here, up top. So cool. And inside you've got our uh, USB key that's also a can. Ha! Huh? And that has our album, four songs on it, and uh, I also personally made all the like track listing and that kind of stuff, like arts and crafts style, because I enjoy it. But that's only 15 bucks. And uh, we're almost completely out of them. So, you gotta that's pick awesome. it up soon. Yeah. So, tell me more about uh, what uh, the mono whales have been doing. We've been recording. For the past uh, six months probably. We're almost done. We've got a few more things to do this next upcoming months, but we're pretty much calling it, you know, we're calling it done by uh, June so that we can release in August. Past that, we've just been busy as hell doing what you got to do to make it happen, you know. There's a lot of work to be done and uh, the work has to get done, so. So who's in the band? So you got Zach Sinardo, who is a beast on the guitar incredible incredible dude in every way big cuddly guitarist that can screech we've got Sarah Del Monte and they are the most solid bassist you could ever ask for and they look fantastic always Holly Jameson who is a very she's a multi instrumentalist actually she also sings in the band does backing vocals and she has all those beautiful licks and and sounds that you've always wanted to hear. She she's the one who comes up with them all on the album and live. And then Jordan Sercosta is the eccentric drummer, you know, um, who is uh, drumming in this band. And then I'm Sally Shar, and I like to sing and wail and dance and hopefully have you have a good time. So hope that's what I could do for you. That's awesome. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Sally's here. Ginger Ale. Hey there. Are you the Ginger Ale or the Mono Ale? I am Ginger Ale, if, if you prefer to call me that, but you can also just call me Sally. And okay, Sally. We've got the Mono Ales also. Tell me yeah. more about the music. Yeah, so Ginger Ale and the Mono Ales is, more than anything, I think the word that we get uh, is energetic and energy, and honestly, uh, it kills me a little bit every time, but it also kills me in the most wonderful way. The only reason I can perform that way is because I'm so goddamn happy and excited that 
you know, everyone else, especially when they're getting into it, I just sometimes I feel like I'm going to explode, and I do, you know? And uh, the music is fun, happy, loving, dark, you know, it it's, runs through a gamut, really. And that's what Rick Emmett, uh, our, our friend Rick Emmett, who helped produce the album, Ha, actually was telling us, he he said it was like a whirlwind of wailing vocals and screeching guitars. You mean the triumph for Kevin? Yes. <laughs> oh, he's your producer? Uh, he helped produce that album. He's not our producer per oh, se. Okay. I got it. But he's also a, he's a, he was a good advisor for us and he helped us out a lot and we're very thankful for his uh, direction. I don't think we would be a solid without him. And so thank you, Rick. And um, Anybody else you want to thank? Well, if I'm gonna dish out thanks, like thank you to you know our families, <laughs> and thank you to you know Toronto Rocks, and, uh, and and no more than anything, it's like the the attention that we get from other people and like the sharing from whether it's friends or like we had Buzzfeed or it, whether it's you know any little piece of press we get that helps us get to the next tier. So that's what we're most thankful for. And, uh, show sponsors? Show sponsors for uh, the Buddha. We got uh, Headquarters Collective and Good For Her, which is dishing out her. some raffle tickets and you could win some nice uh, sexy toys if you want at this show. So you got to come out to it. But past that, just come for the exciting music. We've got Ballroom Babies and the Zillies playing, which are, I handpicked them because they're incredible bands. And we just want we want to party with you. We've got crazy antics planned, especially that couldn't work without fans and without you guys interacting with us, which is the funnest part of it all. And um, awesome. that's all that's all we need. We need you guys. So if you had to, if somebody asked you, what genre would you say? Rock, punk, art rock? I would probably place that question onto the person who's listening to it. Awesome. Only because it's difficult for me making the music. You know, for me, it's like more than genres, it's influences. So if you tell me, oh, this song, it could be like, I stole it from this guy, this guy, this guy, this right. guy, this guy. But it isn't ever like one genre, you know. Uh, I like to say we're like screaming with happy, but that's not necessarily a genre or exactly what it is. Because each song is to is its own, and that's what Ha is about. And, and our next album, it's like you can hopefully hear all the influences and it's like hundreds of from each person because so if you can imagine like what I like and what Zach likes and what each person in the band likes you can kind of see that like spurts of influence into each song and that's my favorite part about this band I think that's what makes it so fun and what, <laughs> and what, <laughs> and what people like about it so much is that we have that um, you know we have the the whole gamut of, of genres and bands and stuff that we want to kind of replicate in our own way. So that's, I think that's the best part of Ginger Ale and the Mono Whale's music, is that it can do that, and that the fans like it, so thank you. All right, okay, well, we'll be back after another brief message All from right. our sponsor. Today, I, I think we can mention Hogtown because Smiling Buddha is a Hogtown headquarters. So uh, have a beer with Hogtown. Have a beer, glug glug. All right. All right. Happy 420. <laughs> so Sally, uh, like I noticed you got a Vakin wristband on. What's yes, up with that? Yes, oh. <laughs> Yes. Metalhead, huh? I, I wouldn't call myself no. a metalhead, but I, I love metal and, you know, this was the best thing to ever happen in my life. Tell me about it. Yeah, I got to be front row center at Motorhead with 250,000 people behind me, you know, looking up, it's just heads, 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 heads for miles, which was which was all of Vulcan, and and seeing, like, Steel Panther, and I'm on a Marth, and uh, it, it, the list goes on and on and on and on and on, you know, every day, all day, music, metal, all the time, and the best part is you get to camp, to, too, so it's not just the music, it's like... You get to camp out with all these fucking awesome people. Like, you know, the stereotype of metalheads is that they're like kind of dicks or violent or whatever. And it's not like that at all. In fact, it's the opposite. Like the most loving, trusting, fucking partying, awesome like people in the world, really. I feel like anyone of any kind of, you know, race or sex or whatever you are, you're accepted there. 
And so that's the most beautiful thing about Vakken, and I recommend everyone in the world to Did fucking you make surf? it up. Yes, I got to crowd surf at a Steel Panther, which was incredible, you know, through all the people. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, what can you say other than, like, try it? Because you don't know what the hell that's like until you try it. Awesome. Yeah, and I don't think there are festivals really. I mean, it's Europe, right? So, and Toronto has some great festivals, but definitely it's a different thing. You know, there you're allowed to mosh, you're allowed to headbang, you're allowed to, like, you know, be a little bit more violent in your yeah. dancing, whereas here you're usually like hush hush, like can't really do that the Molson amp or wherever you are. Hey, so, I've, uh, I've interviewed some Bach in Canada people already, but oh, uh, sick. yeah, I'm gonna do some more of that soon. All right, hello friends, love it. All go right. to check it out, guys. Go to go to Bakken. More with Sally in a minute. Cheers. So Sally, tell me more. Claims to fame? Alright, so we played with Hank Cupcake, which is an incredible duo from Brooklyn, New York. Shout out to them. And our, uh, we're biggest fans of Fat as Fuck here in Toronto, which is also a crazy band if you haven't seen them. We love to play with them and we love to see what they're up with. And uh, past that we played Pride a few years ago and that was probably one of the most amazing shows you know, that we could have done and we we also support that event 100 percent must have been thousands of people in front of you <laughs> what was that like yeah we we wish we could uh, say that but it was a daytime gig so probably a few hundred uh, okay, still but, great. but at the time you know uh we were also probably in our first year so we were very stoked about that and um yeah like all all i can see honestly is like an awesome uphill climb so far and staying positive and excited and stoked about what's to come and truly because everyone else is kind of with us you know we do all the social media stuff so you can follow us because who knows what's going to come next sometimes we know sometimes we don't and so it's a fun ride to have our our friends and our our fans which are our friends always come along with us website website yeah www.themonowales.com right and you're on facebook we've got facebook we got twitter Instagram, Tumblr, uh, it's all mono whales. So YouTube, all that, it's slash mono whales. You've got us. If you want to buy our music online, it's on Bandcamp and iTunes, or you can buy the can itself. Um, we're also part of a collective called Headquarters Collective, and you can buy our merch there. And what they are pretty much is a group of friends and bands in Toronto that want to come together and really support this industry that we're in. We're struggling here as musicians, we're not making a lot of money and we're getting screwed and we don't want that for anyone anymore. So uh, this is a collective trying to stop that and you know, bring the musicians back to the forefront with the money up front and, and the show's being run by them and headquarters together. How do we connect with them? Headquarterscooperative.com is how you can go. And they're also on Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff if you want to get in contact with them. If you go to our site or any of our stuff, you'll find them. They're our best friends. Uh, we couldn't do anything without them, really, so we're very thankful. Jordan Sercosta, who's the drummer, is the uh, spearhead of that. Oh, right. Yeah. So, um, along with other bands that are on it, we've got Silver Morning and Edgewater Hotel, oh, yeah, I know. which are on it. Um, we've got some new people coming up on it, like Brooklyn, Brooklyn Duran and... Uh, Keep a lookout because it is exploding, and we everyone in Toronto should be excited, really, about this beautiful music scene that's happened and that's coming. It's like it's a boom, really. And hey, these guys, we've got the Lifts who are also on headquarters. Shout out. Yeah, I just walked by. That's Dan Leduc, who's a bass player of the Lifts, and also our best friends, uh, the Corsets. We've got to give them a shout out. They're part of headquarters, and they're our blood brothers. And um, we're very, again, all these people are fucking beautiful, fantastic people. And for us to be friends and be able to do this together, you, could, you know, you couldn't ask for anything better. It's a, a, quite the family. I just get excited as hell thinking about every one of those people. Um, so look out for them, because I promise they'll change your life too if you check them out. 
So EP release or single release rather? Single release is April twenty fifth, this Saturday at the Smiling Buddha. Come out to the Blue Balls Bash. And if you can't make it, that's all right, all right, all right. We'll be at CMW at, on May 2nd. And we're going to be playing with Fiddler. And we're stoked about it. Come be stoked with us. All right? Cool. All right. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.